So who's in charge of distributing the money to these digital wallets and making sure the money is used in the marketplace appropriately? The state hired a third party vendor called Class Wallet, as you just heard, and they're going to get a chunk of change from Idaho, starting with $250,000 up front for the startup fee and another $265,000 from a $53 service fee for the first 5,000 applications. They're also going to get $53 for every application after that. Add that to the other service fees and Class Wallet should earn more than a million dollars from this deal. State Board of Education awarded this no bid contract to Class Wallet, explaining, as you just heard Joe say, they needed to get the program up and running quickly before the end of the year when the federal dollars run out. It's been noted that the lobby group representing, representing Class Wallet, Strategos, the Strategos Group, they have an Idaho connection. Tom Luna, who used to be the superintendent of public instruction here in Idaho, currently serves as the chairman of the Idaho Republican Party, is a current partner at Strategos. That, of course, raised some hackles concerning a, pop, a possible conflict of interest, and we reached out to the governor's office about this decision, to which the governor's office responded, saying, they're fully committed to distributing the Strong Family, Strong Students funds to Idaho's families as quickly as possible. The citizens of Idaho can be confident that the State Board of Education followed the law and chose the vendor that could best administer the program expeditiously. Our understanding is that the vendor was chosen based on its experience successfully running similar programs in other states and that Tom Luna's affiliation with the vendor had no bearing on the decision to select the company.